Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get text to work on your Mac. Um, now, you already know that you can do iMessaging, but this is actually true text, to so you can send a text to a non-Apple phone, which if you had to do that now, you, could, you had to get off of iMessage and go onto your iPhone to be able to send a text message. So... This has been around for about a year or so on um, the Mac computers. Any Mac computer you can do this on. Um, so here's the process, though. So you got to um, make sure you're signed into your iCloud on uh, both your devices, your iPhone and your Mac. And so you have to have the same Apple ID on both. And if you want to check this out on your Mac, you can go into your uh, system preferences, then click on iCloud. I'm just going to, I have some nice uh, screenshots that I'm sharing with you here. Um, just for uh, privacy reasons, I'm not going to show you my actual uh, account. So I was able to uh, Photoshop these and X out stuff. So you go into iCloud, and when you go into iCloud, just make sure of what you're signed in with here. If you're not signed in at all, you'll have the ability to sign in. Um, and then you can go on your phone, click on Settings. So click on settings and then uh, scroll down so you see iCloud and see if uh, you'll see your email right here. Um, but if you don't, you can click on the little arrow here and um, go ahead and change your, your settings if you want and log into a different account or log into one to start out with um, if you haven't already been into one. All right. So once you confirm that, that you have the same Apple ID, you're logged into the same one on both your phone and your um, iMac or your Mac um, laptop or, or a computer of whatever type you have, um, you can go ahead and open up iMessages on your um, Mac computer. And um, you can do that by searching in Finder, click on Messages. And um, then when you're in Messages, click on Preferences. And then you should be able to see which account you're logged into there. Um, if you're not logged in at all, you can kind of click the plus sign to log in there, okay? And you can sign out of another account if it doesn't match the one that's on your iPhone. Um, all right, so then, okay, so once you're signed into iMessages on your Mac, we can move to the iPhone, open the Settings app, scroll down, and tap on the Messages app in there, and... Then you're going to tap text message forwarding that looks just like that. Um, so I already have it working on one device. And so when you click on that, um, you'll see a list of devices uh, linked to your Apple ID. Tap the one that you want to send and receive messages on. For instance, I only had my, my one computer enabled with that, with that Apple ID. So that's what showed up. Then when I click this little switch, um, what happens is you get a little pop-up on your computer screen and it gives you a little passcode that basically it's saying, hey, put this passcode on your phone. And on your phone, as soon as that happens, you'll see something like this pop up. You know, just put in this passcode. Um, as soon as you put that in and press allow, um, this should disappear and you're, you'll be all set. That's it. That's the, that's the last step. So just kind of to go through that last step again. Um, you're going to, on your phone, you're getting onto the um, Messages app in Settings. You're going in Settings and clicking on Messages. And then you're going to click on Text Forwarding. And if you've never done this before, this will be grayed out. When you click it, it turns green. And when you click it, you'll see, um, and, and by clicking it, I mean, whichever, you may have multiple computers that you're logged in with that Apple ID. You've got to click the one that you want to use. And then this will pop up on the um, computer screen. And so you, the, you want to pay attention to that password. And you put it right into your iPhone right here. And hit allow. And you're good to go. So whenever anyone sends a text message to your phone, it will appear in your messages app in your um, on your computer. And you can reply with a text message right from the computer. So hopefully that you find that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions um, and please subscribe.